Hey everyone, so I'm recording this video because I've had a lot of people ask me about my background on Zoom calls lately. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna tell everyone how to get it done because it's really super simple and it was free. And so I'm doing this training for that purposes. Now, the, one of the reasons why I have a background and you know, when I'm playing with my fingers, you can see that it's a virtual background. So I have to try to remember not to move my hands around too much. But one of the reasons why I use it is because I do a lot of videos and for branding purposes, I want the background to be consistent so that you don't know that I'm sitting in my parents' house in Phoenix, Arizona, or I'm in the kitchen or the living room or even my bedroom, and God forbid if we show the bed in a professional video, or even in my office that's still kind of under construction. So no matter where I'm sitting, nobody needs to know is the consistent background and you know what I really like using especially when I go to some zoom networking meetings or meetings hosted by someone else because I can subtly promote my business without it being over the top so uh, as you can see I have my business name on it and over in the pictures on uh, one side of the screen the middle picture is an icon that we use frequently in our company. And so I wanted to be able to put it there. And all of it was really very easy. You don't have to have a lot of skill to do this. But one thing you do need to have is the right capability on your computer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to share uh, my desktop. This may look funny. It may be a picture within a picture um, going on. Um, and it didn't work what I was wanting to do. Okay, so we'll try it a different way. So what you wanna do is at the very, when you're on a Zoom call, check this out the next time you're on one. On the very bottom of the page below my picture is a menu bar for Zoom. On the far left side, it says mute. On the next one over, it says stop video because I wanna hide it. You guys know how to use that. And there's this little, arrow a little like that if you click on it it says choose virtual background and zoom already has a number of backgrounds that are included in here but when you choose virtual background it's going to tell you whether or not you have the capability to use it some computer systems you it'll say that you need a green screen i don't deal with the green screen i don't need one with my computer so i can't educate you on that but if you have the ability to add pictures, it will, there's, it'll, when you choose on virtual background, a little box will pop up and there's my picture that I'm seeing right now, but then there's some backgrounds that are there. And over to the right of where it says choose virtual background on this white box that is showing, there's a little plus sign. And that's where you're going to check to upload the picture that you create for your virtual background. Okay, did all of that make sense? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, and share with you how I go about doing it. So I recommend you get a Canva account. It's free. You don't have to upgrade. Um, the, I've logged into one account that I have that is the free version so everybody can see how it is. I like Canva because it lets me create professional materials using templates that they have, but then I can also use it to manipulate to do things like this background. So I use a custom dim dimension of 1024 by 512 pixels. And so just click on custom dimensions, create new design, and this is what's going to pop up. So I don't wanna do a huge overview on Canva. There's tutorials out there, but in order to do a background, you have to have a picture. Now you may have one. I have some pictures that I have uploaded of you know, mountains or the ocean, and okay, that's kind of interesting, but it doesn't give me the office vibe that I want. So go into photos, and now you can search for, you know, what kind of an environment do you want behind you? Do you want it to be nature? Do you want it to be an office setting? Do you want it to be something professional? And so let's, um, let's search by office space. Now a variety of pictures come up. Most of them are free. Um, there are filters to make sure that you are you have free ones, but what kind of look do you want to have? Maybe this is the look that, oops, I don't want to do it that way. 
Let's do it this way. So remember, you're going to be in the middle, so it's going to look like your back is to the space that you have selected, okay? So this could be a really nice one. Um, it, it's, you know, you, you may like that minimalist look to it. Um, there's, if it has over here on the left-hand side on the pictures, if it says pro, you have to upgrade to a pro account in order to use that picture. Maybe I want something that looks more like this, that there's pe people behind me and this one has snow, so it may not be appropriate for July. Um, maybe you want to have it as a conference room and it looks like you're sitting in the corner. Um, so you kind of get the idea that you can make it look however you want it to be. Let's see what this one does. I like the colors of it. Oops, that didn't do it. Just click on it and drag it. So that's kind of an interesting one. You may decide you want it to be a desktop like this. I'm going to use this one because this one would be really good for what it is that I'm wanting to show you. Now, when I said that I have a background image that I frequently use, let me um, go over to my computer and I'm going to choose a picture on my computer. And what I want to choose, you can do a logo. Um, I'm going to choose one that I have used frequently and I'm going to just drag it over to here. You can see it's in my library now pictures. Now I don't need this whole thing. I just want a little component of it. So I'm going to double click on it for it to crop it and just move the corners down. And let's say I want to focus on my Gold Lotus that I frequently use for workplace um, type products that we have at Udefine Wellness. I'm done. And I'm going to drag it over to this little box, set it in there, and make it the size of it. Now it's a little bright, so I'm going to click on it. And up at the top, there's this transparency. Let's just make it a little more transparent just so it's not so in your face. And maybe what I want to do is move this over just a little bit more. Because there's going to be a border over here. Not quite enough. So you can see you've got to play with it sometimes. And now let's say I want to have our name behind it. So I'm going to go over here to text options. There's a bunch of text fonts that are already there. I tend to like to choose my own and then edit it. And I'm going to put in, um, I'm going to use capitals. An extra G in there. And I want to put it over here. And let me use a font color that is similar to what's being used there. Now, the magic of this is that it's already grabbed some colors that are in the picture. So I'm going to do it kind of not in your face. Um, and I want it to be a little bit bigger and brighter. And I can, so I'm just, I want this font size to be maybe a little bit larger. There we go. Now to download it, you click over here. Download. And I've now saved it to my computer. Let's get that down. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing right now because I need to go into the Zoom menu. And what I am doing is going over again to that stop video and that little 
that's right next to it on the right hand side. I'm clicking on it, choosing virtual background. I'm hitting the little plus sign that says add image or video. I'm going to add an image and I'm going to save it from where I retrieved it or save it, just save it, da 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 da. There you guys go. Now, this is not one I would ever use. Um, the, 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 the cups and the pencils are too big. It's just not the image that I want to have. Um, you define wellness is a little bit too far over to the side. But you can see it doesn't take an awful lot of work for you to customize your background. I can tell you I played with probably mm, a dozen or more backgrounds until I found one that I really liked. But some of the other ones that I had come up with, just to give you an idea, I've got this one. It's a little much. Um, this one, not in my color palette for the, our company branding, but it was kind of a fun one to be able to put the different th products that we use. You can see um, right there. In a, I also have a very modest one, and it's not my favorite, but you know, it's one of the ones I played with. And then I also have a picture of the beach when I was in Goleta, California. I have a picture of Breckenridge, Colorado, the mountains when I was up there. But um, what I have found that I like the most is this one. And this is the one I get all the, the compliments on. So, but, you know, go in and find what you want. Maybe you want a solid wall. Maybe um, it's a flower that you like. And maybe it's something that you want to create your own with your logo and, you know, just play with it. It's a lot of fun. It's easy. And the best part is, guys, it's free.